hello everyone this is a video where you will learn how to use reference works so let's start with the case examples which will help you explain how to use this best program so a 27 year old executive comes to us with pain of pain in the heels he says there is unbearable pain every morning he touches if his feet to ground and he cannot do that on asking to describe this complaint further he says i have needle like pain in the heel and it is more when in the morning when i get up i work throughout the day but there is little or less pain throughout the day but in the morning it's really unbearable it's a needle like pain so what do you do many a times you are confused whether you should go to materia medica whether you should go to repertory what is the normal way we are usually doing we take a symptom we search in a repertory we search in a particular chapter and then we locate the rubric or the best possible sub rubric and repertorize it or just look it up but there is a really really easy simple and flexible way to a case and that is with the help of reference works what we can do over here is just put the key words of the case the patient over here complains of needle like pain in the heels only in the morning so let's go to the program to learn how to use it so this is how the program opens up there is a search window which is named as untitled and you just put the keywords of the case so here you put morning and the number 3 then the number the letters needles and then the location of the pain so you are putting the keywords of the case now why do we use three words why do we use two words five words you will understand in the cases which we see in this presentation i just press enter to just give a search and it opens up a clipboard as well as a reference string in the bottom the reference string shows me that there are three references for this particular expression of the patient and one remedy and over here i get an overview in the reference window the remedy is mentioned in the left hand side corner then the section and then the book so suppose i would like to know which book it is mentioned and just take an overview and it is written over here in this part you can see when i just scroll over the cursor it's mentioned in hanemans materia medica pura about bryonia having some symptom related to what search i performed i would like to read it i just click over it and the materia medica section opens up in the background and it opens up hanemann materia medica pura bryonia general section and it is written in the morning in bed needle pricks in both heels which went off after rising very interesting and very similar to the case i have now if i would like to read the other materia medica to which bryonia belongs i just click over this general section so it goes a step back and i would like to read bryonia from the other books so i just click over here in the left hand side corner of the materia medica window and now i just click on hanemann materia medica pura so that the it goes one more step backwards and now i can just scroll down or up to read about bryonia from the other materia medica which are in my library of reference works but the best part over here was that bryonia covered the exact patient symptom which was there mentioned in the source book also so this is the best part of the program that whatever best possible expression of the symptoms are there you just put the keywords of the case and you get the exact search so in this case bryonia helped a lot you can see the exact match 
so in this way there are a lot of other shortcuts which can be used in our cases you learn how to use the different shortcuts and when to use it for example there is a three word connector which you can use by pressing the numeric key three from four to nine words you can use the numeric key four to nine and then you have the other connectors which are the same sentence which you can use by pressing the spacebar twice then you have the same paragraph which you can use by pressing the spacebar three times same section by pressing the spacebar four times and same remedy by pressing the spacebar five times when you are performing the search so let's study these different shortcuts and how you can use it in different cases let's move on to the next case a case of constipation after fright this is a case of a girl aged 11 year old and she was passing through a dark street when suddenly she sensed some noise and got frightened she developed abdominal pain 2 hours after the incident and lot of frequent urging to stool on the next day there was no passage of stool but she develops constipation and frequent urging to go to stool for the next 2 days now there is a dilemma whether we should actually search for the fright remedies and combine it with the constipation and you get a single remedy which is opium we all know opium works well in fright as well as in constipation with this symptom picture but it did not help for the one day so what you can do in this case was you search the same symptom in reference works for example let me show you how you do it you go to the reference works you close this window the reference thing window also and the previous rubric you remove it using a backspace and you go to the search window and you just type the keywords of the case which is fright so i just type f r i g h t and now i press the space bar twice to get the same sentence connector and urging and three words stool and again the number 3 and so many a times it may happen i may mistakenly type something which is not related or not found in my reference works library so i can see the letter is colored red so i just have to search and type the best word which is also available in my reference works library so i just take my cursor over here and i can see that in the bottom there is a mention about having so many occurrences of this particular word so there we are with this search which we would like to perform fright in the same sentence urging three stool three frequent now we are telling the program to search for fright and in the same sentence there has to be urging for stool which is frequent and i press enter and you get only one remedy having 12 references this was an eye opener so what is it what is the mention about the same symptom in our source books so you can see here it's mentioned in herring's condensed materia medica in pulford's aconitum in herring's guiding symptoms about aconite what is it written i just click on this word over here and it opens up directly exactly in the place where the symptom is mentioned in the source books so it's mentioned cutting griping followed by frequent urging to stool after anger or fright from herring's condensed materia medica and the general section very interesting so in this case opium did not help initially but after performing this search giving aconite help this patient a lot so this is the exactness of reference works this can help a lot in your cases where you are stuck up and you don't know how to progress and you perform a search in reference works and it gives you a answer which is an eye opener like in this case and it gets you exact symptom from the source book 
so that is the best part this is the path breaking tool reference works and it's the next level of homeopathy it's a totally unparalleled and a revolutionary tool let us study the last case of the day and this is a case of a cervical spondylosis a computer operator comes with complaints of pain in upper back they keep on working on these computers and they develop lot of pains so he has been diagnosed cervical spondylosis by an orthopedic doctor he says he is quite normal when he is working on a computer but while he has to write something he cannot hold his pen he has trouble signing the documents also on the other hand he also has some strong physical craving which is a desire for pickles so what is the search you were over here you can perform you can go to repertory and go to different parts but you will not get this particular expression of the patient which is finger hold cannot so i go to reference works and i just perform this interesting search so i close this window and i perform over here finger three words hold three words cannot and now i press the space bar 1 2 3 4 5 times so it gives me same remedy and then the other symptom of the case which is pickle and three words desire and now i press enter and i get only one remedy which is natromure very interesting so where does natromure come from so i just click on the first occurrence which is about pickles desire and i get from andy sinus book food and drinks pickles desire natromure interesting and then i press the button tab so that i can go to the next occurrence of the word which is my next symptom and i just press tab and i go further and i read from uges provings about natromure that there is trembling of fingers she cannot hold anything fast in the hand or even close it for weakness and so on and so forth if i wish to go back i have to press shift and tab so it takes me every con word backwards and i go back to my previous word which is pickles desire and i again want to go further and read it i just press tab and now it comes back to uges so this is the best part of the program you can shuffle from your previous words to the next word and backwards and if you would like to read the materia medica you just click on the book name over here at the top and you just scroll down and you can read that term you maybe from nurse repertory or i just go more down down and i can read from lipes book in the mind and i can read further and so on and so forth so in this case you could see how a simple search direct patient expression was found in the reference works and you get the symptom from source books as well as from the latest book so this is the best of both the worlds you get the old as well as the new and that is what that reference works can help you do it and in this case it was given natromure and much better so this is all what we are doing at synergy we support and advance your homeopathy to help you improve your prescription and grow your practice keep watching more videos to help you discover more about your programs and transcend your practice thank you